police but talk of And walk the streets where artsy markets be Many promoters rub my lip but yo they talk is cheap Across the street I see a couple cats sparking beef Lost to me as I'm through urban youth and heat for cheap prices I operate my devices Transmit through speakers to communicate what life is Giving more than just my two bad knuckles to fight with Spirit motivated to elaborate that Christ lives I'm a fan of the slam dance passionate movement When the chains loosen, crash course exclusive Landscape destructive with a love for trying to build Start from scratch to accurately capture what I feel I'm ill from a contagious sickness I'm in the midst of individuals channeling energy So intense that it's instant upon exposure Ready to strike like the cobra I can tempt for what I know is truth until the game Come on. Oh yeah. You're listening to the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network The show is coming up in about two minutes Don't go away, stay tuned <laughs> Identify with the positive vibe, optimist opportunities, not opting to offer options. Dangerous mind with a clear conscience. Open up and you might get it, that's right. I said it, one of the four to testify, you're living like head. If your fault, my check, tenant, put it dead in it. Abraham, the Senate, bet I'm wrecking it. Isolate your style so you're not tempted to blend it with the temperament of the popular developing tenement to skill. That's why I make sure my step to the rhythm's original, skip the bullseye. Common vision ends up in crowded sentence, an orthodox approach, so I aim for the outer edges. It's about to be on and popping. Show coming up in about a minute and a half. Stay tuned. On and on, I'm on the artist, the art and the product of modern artistry. Don't bother me, I'm honestly starting too hard into all of the common songs. I'm talking no problems, but never commenting on proper ways to solve. Call a response from the audience is all the dollar needs to start it all against right. all them. Instead of our investments would expose the hearts and uh-huh. tenants. All the yes, all the all the you know, You're locked and loaded and listening to the Stuart Media and Entertainment Network. Y'all don't hear me, though. The show is coming up in about 30 seconds. Don't go away. Stay tuned. Uh-huh. Solve a bit of numbers while the crowd was getting lost in it. The gathering for unity has proved to be the Started. Yeah, hip hop is an economist, so like, I'll have a problem with it. Can't we all just play our role and live the way that God intended? Yeah. Cause see, when the song is ended, try not to be all offended. I'm coming as shots intending to water the land in me. <laughs> Steward Media and Entertainment, let's go! <laughs> Yo, 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 check this out, check this out. Wait till they pick up the phone. Check this out. Hello, Public Factory. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Can I speak to Dan Patrick or, or Colin Cowherd or Skip Bayless or that ninja Stephen A. Smith? Nah, bro. They not here. Hey, hey, yo, tell them. Dougie Stewart and the Stewie said, since they think they show hot and they sports talk, guy talk soldiers, tell them we'll go to war. <laughs> Listen up, sports talk show fans and puppet factory refugees. Tired of predictable rants, relentless bullfish, and politically correct propaganda? No worries. Doug Stewart to the rescue. Oh, poke ass Tom Brady! The police think they can shoot a ninja in the back just because he's a ninja? I say... Yes, sir! Get the hell out of here with that scripted sports talk radio. Because you just entered the TDSS zone. Ball penis for you! Tell the truth and shame the devil! I don't know what they want from me, man. I I feed them, and I clothe them, and I rejuvenate them. That's inflation, baby. Buckle up, boys and girls, and get ready to ride raw. With the realest, trealest sports and guy talk show in the world. This is the Doug Stewart Show. Yes! Talk that in my ear, but let shit come down here.
Can I get my man Fabulous to bring it back? Nice. Yes, sir. Oh. Welcome to the Doug Stewart Show, man. January 19th? Yeah, January 19th, 2017. The realest, trailer sports and guy talk show in America. I get so hyped. Hey, welcome to the Doug Stewart Show, man. This is a throwback Thursday. If you are new to the show, there's a couple of things I need you to do. Yes, I'm putting your ass to work very, very early. I am. (laughs) Okay, all right. Uh, If you're new to the show, I need you to go to Spreaker.com. That's Speaker with an aura, all right? Spreaker.com. Once you get on there, search and find the Doug Stewart Show. Once you find it, hit the follow button. That's very important that you hit that follow button so that when this show or any other show on the network goes live, you'll be alerted, you know, through Facebook, through Twitter, or just an email. And the second thing I need you to do, and this is very, 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 very important. It is important. Shut up. This is very important. I need you to click the chat bubble. There's a little chat icon thingy. You click on that and jump into our chat room. We have the best chat room in the world. I call it the Fantasy Island of Sports and Guy Chat, and its inhabitants, the people inside that chat room, I call them the Stewies. Good morning, Stewies. Yeah. And so post your thoughts in the chat room. I read it all throughout the show. It makes this the most interactive sports and guy talk show in America. And, yes, the show is kind of founded on sports. That's kind of like the majority of what we do around here. But we also talk about what you're talking about in the streets, under the shade tree, in the barbershop, in the basement. That's what we do around here on the Doug Stewart Show. I've talked about the chat room, but you can also call the show at 404 382-0338. 382-0338. You can also email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show.com. But the easy way, once again, to be totally interactive is just to jump into the chat. All right? Make sure you do that. All right, so you see the uh, the title of today's show, Bullying Bonds. So we're going to talk about that baseball Hall of Fame thing. Yeah, we will do that. Uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers safety gets hit. We'll also talk about Deshaun Watson making a business decision. Uh, Bama does what Bama does. I'll tell you more about that. And the Packers secondary are in trouble. Sade. You remember that? You remember, uh, who was that? You're in trouble. I'm in trouble. It was one of those black, uh, sitcoms back in the day. But the guy used to say, boy, you in trouble. <laughs> Green Bay Packers secondary in trouble. So we get to that. Birthdays, entertainment, and hour number two. Um, we'll talk about uh, uh, a guy where we just say to him, don't do it. More on that in hour number two. And then we got the third hour, the power hour. But we read a lot of chat throughout the show. We take phone calls once again at 404-382-0338. If you're new to the Doug Stewart Show, so Monday through Friday, we have different themes for the shows, okay? So yesterday was a woman Wednesday where we basically, you know, lay uh, roll out the red carpet for women. Uh, we absolutely love women to listen to the show. Shut up, we do. Shut up! Damn studio audience kind of honored this morning. And then Friday we have a fantastic free, funny football Friday where we kind of recap 
or, or get ready, get your set up for everything going on in the weekend in sports. And we talk football. We do that every day, but uh, especially on Fridays, whether we're in season or not. Monday is a man talk Monday where we recap what happened over the weekend. Tuesday is a tribute Tuesday. We pay tribute to an artist, an old school artist. Uh, and then today, today is a good day to start listening to the Doug Stewart Show if you're new. Today is a throwback Thursday. We go back to a year and talk about everything in that year in sports, entertainment, and beyond. And today, we're only throwing it back a couple of years, man. We're throwing it back to 2013. Yes. We're running out of years. <laughs> Yeah, we're running out of years. All right, so so let's kind of give you an example of what we're talking about. Sports-wise, what was going on in 2013? In 2013, the Boston Red Sox, man, got another World Series, beating the St. Louis Cardinals uh, four games to two back in 2013. Oh, damn. It was the Miami Heat whole thing. LeBron James, they beat the San Antonio Spurs four games to three. Absolutely hated that that whole Miami Heat thing where they stacked the team. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. Also in 2013, the Louisville Cardinals uh, beat Michigan 82-76, to the NCAA uh, championship. Then, uh, oh, your Super Bowl champions that year were the Baltimore Ravens beating the San Francisco 49ers. Remember, that was a hardball Super Bowl. Jim and John, so Baltimore got it done. Ray Lewis's swan song. Also the national champion that year in 2013, which was just uh, four years ago, uh, a little bit over three years ago. The Notre Dame Fighting Irish went down. They went down, boy, to the Alabama Crimson Tide. Uh, SEC. Um, What else we got? Oh, and in golf, for all my golfers out there, Your Masters champion that year was Adam Scott. Your U.S. Open champion that year was Justin Rose. Uh, Your British Open champion that year was Phil Mickelson in the majors. And your PGA championship that year was Jason Duffner. So those are everything and those are all of the things, the highlights from went down in the uh, world of sports in 2013. What were you doing in 2013? (laughs) So, so what we do is all throughout the show, we talk about different things that were going on in 2013. We got kind of like the top music from 2013, hip-hop and R&B tracks from 2013. Uh, I'm going to tell you this right now, man. Music really started to make a shift in 2013. <laughs> I think maybe that's where it all started. I think that's where it all started. 404-382-0338. You can also email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show.com. So if you follow me uh, quickly, if you follow me on social media, we're going to get to this Hall of Fame stuff here in a second and how they bully and Barry Bonds. If you follow me on social media, man, um, and one of my friends on Facebook, I just posted a video literally 15 minutes ago, maybe 20 minutes ago, where I was riding by, I dropped baby girl off to school, on the way back to the studio, and I've been meaning to do this for a couple of days, but I took notice of a brand new Dollar Tree that's coming to town, to my part of of, uh, of, of where I live at. And the Dollar Tree is kind of like, it used to be a a pharmacy, and so they basically just moved all the pharmacy stuff out and they moved to another location. And so Dollar Tree is setting a business. The problem is 40 yards across the street, not 40, but 50 yards across the street is a Dollar General. <laughs> yeah, 50 yards across the street. And I mean literally a stone's throw away. There's a Dollar General. So Dollar Tree is basically, you know, coming in to take over and cut the knees up under Dollar General. That's that BS, and I mentioned it. I know we got some noobs that probably listen to the show. I know we do. I know we got noobs that listen to the show. This reminds me of 1992, my senior year in college, and we had this annual signature event called the Mardi Gras, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show, and I know I, I'm off the subject here a little bit, 